I have to say, without exception, every single person I've encountered has been unbelievably kind and helpful and doing their best to try and help me, even if we couldn't understand each other at times, and that has been amazing. So definitely don't be discouraged by the language barrier or anything like that. Hey guys, today was the first full day we had in Japan. So yesterday we arrived at Narita early in the afternoon. It was hell on the planes. I couldn't sleep at all. <laughs> so I'm still super tired and I don't know if it's because of the jet lag or because of my extremely heavy bag. I feel like the bag weighs like 45 pounds. So pretty much since we touched down, my Japanese knowledge has been kind of tested it seems like for a, quite a few people that as soon as i say hi they think that i know a lot of japanese and they just start talking at me and i'm like what <laughs> so yeah i've been so flustered and tired that i hardly remember to vlog anything i'll insert a couple clips that i did take but yeah so the hotel we got right by narita airport was the gateway hotel and they actually have a free shuttle to and from the airport to the hotel, so that was really good. It ended up being really nice there, like I didn't expect it to be so nice. It's a little bit in the countryside almost. So yeah, the hotel ended up being really a lot nicer than I expected. And I got some gacha there, which again, I didn't expect there to be gacha machines in the hotel. It felt so stupid because we went to go look for dinner in the hotel and we thought, we saw where the restaurant was and it was closed. So then we went in this little convenience store that was in the hotel and bought like a bunch of gross snacks. And then on our way out we saw that what we thought was the closed restaurant wasn't it at all and it was downstairs and it looked open. <laughs> so that sucked. So this morning we woke up at like 3.30 in the morning and I had to wait until 6.30 for the hotel breakfast. And it was pretty good. It was like buffet style and there was kind of a mix of western food and Japanese food. And the hotel had this really beautiful garden in the back that the dining room looked out over. And then we still had a couple hours so we went out for a walk and it ended up being amazing. It's so cool in a place like this that everything unexpected happens. Like we just walked down the road from the hotel and there's this beautiful neighborhood full of Japanese homes and at the end of the street there was a big cemetery. So yeah, it was really really nice. And after that we had to get on the shuttle again to go back to the airport and that was kind of like where the misery for today began. <laughs> today was just one of those days where a bunch of mistakes happened and that was kind of like what I expected on this trip was that it's not gonna go perfectly and there's gonna be stuff that's really hard to figure out. So I went to get cash out because I was a fool and didn't get yen back in Canada and the first ATM didn't accept any of my cards and then I went to a different bank of ATMs, they were the 7-Eleven kind. One of them worked at first and then I went back later to use the one next to it and it didn't work and I don't know why, like it, I don't know if it was out of cash or broken or something. And I honestly don't even know if I have the energy right now to recount the train mess that happened in detail but we ended up getting on a train that went to the end of the line and stopped and then reverse directions and so we thought we were going in the wrong direction <laughs> so we got off got on another train down the line of that train for like 20 minutes thought it was going in the wrong direction as well <sighs> got off and had to wait another 20 minutes because we were in like shisui which was a really really countryside <laughs> then when the train finally came we were back at narita <laughs> so we got off there by then i think we were only like an hour away from when we were supposed to be in Shibuya. This lady working at the station noticed that we were looking quite clueless, so she came over and asked like where we were going. And yeah, so eventually she helped us out and we finally figured out how to get the express train pass when you have the JR pass. Um, so that's what we got. We managed to get on an express train. We only had to wait like 10 minutes for it. And then it got to Shibuya in about 40 minutes, I wanna say, but then we had to walk around Shibuya for like almost an hour trying to find the Airbnb host. He wanted to meet us in Shibuya, like down the street from where the actual Airbnb apartment is. But like he sent me the link to the Google Maps and it didn't go to the right spot. And I was messaging him like, where are you? He's like, I'm in front of the family mart. And there's a family mart like every 10 fucking feet. <laughs> it kind of 
gets to me for some reason. It gets to the point where I'm just like getting really frustrated. I'm really tired and everything is difficult. Like getting places so far has been difficult. Communicating has been difficult. Finding food has been difficult. But anyway, tomorrow is the YouTube Hanami in Yoyogi Park. I looked at the directions and it said it's like 25 minutes or 27 minutes to walk there from where I'm at in Shibuya and 22 minutes to take the train. So it's like 10 minutes walking to the train station, take the train for 3 minutes and then walk again for 10 minutes. So I'm not totally sure which way I will take yet, but I'm trying not to think about it honestly because I'm getting nervous to meet everyone. I don't even know. I just feel like when I try to talk to people, I sound really awkward and crazy <laughs> not to be vain but my skin's been pretty good lately i've really been trying to like wash it good with soap and um of course i got this nice friend in the middle of my bridge of my nose or wherever right before the hanami so that's really cool oh yeah another thing about that hotel was that the bed was like a huge slab of rock it was so hard there was no give to it like when you sat down on it it just was like sitting on cement it was so crazy but there's futon in this place so it's really comfortable um, i'll show you guys the apartment actually so yeah this is the gankan at the front door this is the bathroom Um, there's a really small kitchenette with this place. This is my bed. And there's a really small TV. And that's it. Like, I'm dead right now, but I am. I just am so tired. My back is dying, and I don't know. I just, I'm having a hard time enjoying some parts of this trip, so. Oh, tonight we got sushi, and it actually was the first sushi I've ever had in Japan, and it was really good. It was one of those places, though, where everyone's sitting around the chefs, and you're supposed to just yell at them what you want. <laughs> um, but I was too scared to do that, so I just kept saying, like, excuse me to the guy who was kind of like the host, like, greeting people at the front door, and then I would tell him what I wanted to order, <laughs> and then he would yell at the chefs. Yeah, I still just feel really awkward about speaking Japanese to anyone because I know I'm bad and I know I make mistakes and there's nothing really you can do about that you have to learn from your mistakes and there's nothing wrong with making mistakes but at the same time it's embarrassing so I think really my backpack is really really getting me down just the sheer size of it is too big and I already threw out some stuff when I was at the hotel I packed like the bare minimum of clothes like seriously only brought two pairs of pants so I have to like wash my pants in the sink tonight <laughs> I, that is about it for the trip so far. It's been really, really stressful with a couple of really good moments mixed in there. Shibuya is actually quite a bit colder than Narita was, so hopefully it's not too bad tomorrow. We have some nice weather for the Hanami, and I hope I will be more genki and <laughs> not terrified. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Oh my god, this is really sweet. I'm, I'm following this, following my ice cream with this, so... My teeth feel terrible. So yeah, the instrumentals are kind of meh. 